What's going on guys and welcome to Two Point Campus, a game I've been looking forward to and yes, we have been given a very early access so thank you Two Point Studios for sending me an early access key and showing it to you guys early before the launch on August 9th. So what is Two Point Campus? Well, if you played Two Point Hospital, it is very similar. But this time, we're going to be controlling a whole school year. Well, multiple school years. We've got to hang around with them annoying students. And yes, we have to make their school year either successful or a living hell. So what could go wrong in Two Point Campus? So without further ado, let's jump into the game and start a brand new year. A university is not something that one simply opens, like a savings account or a jar of pickles. Any self-respecting academic institution was doubtlessly opened long ago by dignified people who wore bowler hats and spoke via subtitle, The world is a creation of the past, and it is our job to keep it all going and try not to touch anything. Okay. Well, here we go. This is our little campus. I'm going to guess we're going to have an advisor here. First day of school. Welcome to Fresh Lay Meadows, where life moves slowly and ex expectations are lowly. The two-point countryside is the perfect place to start your career. Learn the ropes, make mistakes, and hit the ground smiling. Scientography, student intake is 10 students. So we're no going to start... talking on campus. Thank you. Oh God, the announcement! If you, if you <clears throat> guys are, are a fan of um, Two Point Hospital, yeah, you remember the announcer makes stupid remarks, and I love them. But I do have to apologise as well. My voice has gone, hence the reason of lack of videos this month uh, and all that kind of stuff. That's just because one, I've had COVID. Yes, I didn't think I had it. I got it, and I'm still suffering the after effects. I've got like a post cough. So please be patient, and yes, I will get the video back out to you pretty soon. Our campus is going to be running a Scientography course. Let's start by building a Science Lab. Okay, so we've got a Build menu over here. Click on Science Lab, and it does state that this building does have to be minimum of 5x5. Five five. So let's kind of just put this down here. That's 4x4. Four four. Let's just kind of go 5x5. Five five. Let's give it the minimum size. Oh my god, that's a big boy. Oh boy, that's huge. We're going to get it though. Let's just put some stuff on the wall. We have to put this down. It basically says here. And then obviously the room needs a door. Let's put that down. Let's put a plant pot in. I don't know, side of the door. And some shelves. Put you flush up against the wall. So don't drink the chemicals, kids. Do not do it. Frequently asked questions. Yes, we and are there we go. testing you. Shh. I, I love the announcer in this. Now, let's hire a teacher to run our scientography. So, let's pick up a Natasha Rocket, who is a salary of 28000 I'm guessing that is per year. It best be per year. Recruitment fee is 4200 We've got like 480000 Uh 70% teaching skill. Bin blindless. Drops litter. Wow. And she gets dry mouth and gets thirsty super easy. So, let's put make sure that, that she's got a... Uh, what's it called? Nira? What is going on? So Great work. We now have a... Is this a radio? It's me, Sir Nigel Bickleworth. The voice coming out of your radio here on Two Point Hi. Radio. Isn't it a beautiful day in this little county of ours? Not that I'd know, of course. No windows in the old recording booth. And while I have made several written requests to our management, this is actually just the way I like it. Visitors should be checked in and then removed immediately. <laughs> okay, great work. Now we can get everything we need to run our scientography course. When you're ready, select next year to welcome our first year of students. That's our teacher. Welcome, new students. We're more afraid of you than you are of us. <laughs> I love the announcer. Oh, there's a bus arriving. Is this student? Oh, I see welcome the peoples. The start of a new year. What's up, I'm you little your snotty host. kids? Hi. Hello. Oh, he's got a mohawk. I've got a mohawk, for those that don't know. So these are all now coming in, and they've only got one course to do, which is going to be science. So, and we've got to complete a, a, a scientography class, which, uh, yeah, is starts pretty soon. So we can speed up time here a little bit. They have nowhere to drink, nowhere to live, or anything like that. So let's get them into this class and get this bit done. Science lab. 
And there we go. We're all now in. They are now studying. Oh, hello. This guy coming in. Uh, look at that. The students are in their very first class. Who knows what will happen? Well, they're playing around with a goddamn big, massive machine. They're probably going to blow up something. What are they doing? This guy's just banging a hammer against the side of this thing. This guy's firing a ray gun. I feel like these are going to become the next Walter White. And I'm only saying that is because I've been watching Breaking Bad again. So... <laughs> So I like how these have got to be in this class and they're going to be trapped in here for near enough a month, which is kind of hilarious to me. So I'm going to speed up time, get this done, and it's like we're at 70%, so we'll be done in no time. And done! There we go. They did it. The students passed their first class. Sadly, they didn't do all at, uh, that well. It seems a number of them were distracted by one need or another. A student that has everything they need will be more happy, less distracted, and be able right to... with you, I'd like to discuss crockery. Any objections? Yes, no? I'm trying to read Delightful. this. Yes, I don't know who needs to hear this. I'd imagine it's Dude. most of you, but plating is not optional. When you slop food onto a tray, you turn your food into slop. Remember, we eat with our eyes. Though I'm sure some of you will take that as an instruction to start shoveling chowder into your sockets. What the hell's he on about with, like, slopping chowder and stuff? I tell you what, I could probably do you one better. So let me talk to you about today's sponsor, HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a doorstop food delivery service where you get it weekly if you choose, and you can choose how many people and how many meals you want per week. You also get a step-by-step -step card in your pre-packaged meal, and it also comes pre-portioned as well to cut out them prep times. So it allows you to get back to whatever you're doing. This could be work or even gaming. And yes, I've been a HelloFresh member now for about a year to a year and a half, and it's made my life super convenient, especially when it comes to content creation, because I get the likes of breakfast bites being delivered, savory soups, pizzas, and snacks and sides, and a lot more. And yes, they do have vegetarian options, and yes, meals that are suitable for all your family needs. So if you're interested in 16 free meals across seven boxes, plus three surprise gifts, check out the link in the description or even go to hellofresh.com and use my code at checkout. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get back in. A student needs such as their thirst or toilet comfort will affect their overall happiness. Happy students perform better in class and earn more XP. Take a look at our students and see what we can do to improve campus. So you need feeling fresh lit lol uh the key to a campus hospitality is to remember to have three the three r's students need somewhere to relax themselves to rest themselves and to relieve themselves sure two of these might be the same thing but it does sound convincing let's build a dormitory and a bathroom to keep people comfortable okay so now let's build a pooper you want to build a pooper i will build you a pooper let's kind of do what's the size of these a two by one Oh boy, maybe we just kind of do uh, something on the lines of like this big. And then because they've got cubicles anyway, we might as well just make it a uh, kind of like a longish. Put you into there. We'll get a couple of sinks in here. Uh, let's kind of put one, two, three, four. Let's pull a door in there and hand sanitizer, of course. Uh, one hair dryer, hand dryer. Can I move that over by one? put another hand dry there there we go and do we put a plant yeah let's put a plant in the bathroom because why the hell not um we got six in there we got everything we need toilets a boom bada bing i'm guessing it's a communal bathroom if not we'll have to make a second one so now it says we need to build a dormitory as well so let's kind of build some bedrooms and i'm thinking we need a two by two, which is leading near enough a prison cell. Um, let's kind of go by a two by three um, and then kind of put a door into the... Wait, is two by three going to be a... No, I think that's going to be too big, isn't it? How big is a bed? A bed's only one block. So maybe we like remove that and then put that wall back there. So we can... Yeah, we'll, we'll literally make a prison cell because why not? Let's put a desk in and then a wardrobe at the bottom. They should be able to go to bed there, right? That should be fine. That is fine. And then let's put something on the wall here because they might want to stick stuff on it. All right. That's that room done. But I believe if we click on this, we can actually come down here and click on copy room. And I can just copy paste all these along here. But I've got to tick that and then do it again. And there we go. I've now added how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's nine bits. Is that eight? Five, five plus eight. Yes, I do maths. 
eight rooms. So, which uh, is a little bit less than what we need to. But it's saying we need to now place one cheesy gubbins machine and place one blurt machine, which I'm guessing is going to be in here. So one cheesy gubbins machine and one blurt machine, which is going to be these. We will put a bin at the side of them. Is there a bin? There is a bin. Bin. There we go. Place that out at the side of it and then put maybe a couple because I'm guessing this is where they're going to be sitting and eating. Maybe stick a plant at the end of it. Enjoy. Enjoy, kiddos. Now I need to hire a janitor, which will be up here. Oh, there we go. Janitor. Uh, Rowena Pebble, Brad Dandy, or Herbie Corduroy. I'm thinking we get this guy because he's cheap. 17,750. He's got poor personal hygiene. Toilet comfort disease slower than most. Lolly Gaga moves slowly than most. Give it a go. Okay. This guy sounds perfect. Let's add him in. We've now done that. What's our next objective? Place a Scientography class, uh, pass a Scientography class with a C+. So now we just need to wait till November. Oh, no, that's a lecture theater. Wait, yeah. So now I just kind of need to, well, move on time Fresley. and progress. Nigel, the other day, I accidentally left my dissertation on the bus. Could you please spread the word and see if I can get it back? Thanks in advance. Well, well, this is what you get for riding the bus. As for your request, I'd love to help you. I really would. But if I did, how would you learn? You see my dilemma? I like how all the beds have all got the same matching... Uh, what the hell's he doing? Why did he crawl in that way? Is that because... <laughs> is that the only way he can get in? He's crawling from the bottom. Okay, so we've got a lecture started. What's this guy doing? Hello? Could this guy not... Is he needing the bathroom? Uh, this guy's going to poop himself. So now they're doing a lecture and hopefully getting the thingy up. This is this. So it's his lecture time. So we're just going to wait to the end of November and see how they do. Well, this guy seems to be enjoying class. He's just taking a good old nap. And... Bada bing, bada bosh. Well done, those students look smarter already. The better they do, the more money you will have to fund the campus. Who's a smart now? Yes, you'll receive tuition fees from all students enrolled in courses at the campus, as well as a bonus for how much XP they're earning. Okay. So we've actually got a pretty decent amount of money. Assignment. Satisfying students need to... It, it is just one way to improve our grades. Next on the agenda is spot of study. And luckily, the, sh uh, the students have been given their first assignments. What is this? I've got an email. Your inbox. Welcome to your inbox. A place to check on... Okay, yeah, it's fine. We don't need to do that. What the hell is this? Assignment request. Library required. Okay, let's build a, let's build a library. Let's just kind of put this down. We're going to need a, uh, a front desk, right? Yeah, we're going to need a, a library desk. So we're going to put this at the entrance here. And then we can just kind of put some uh, some bookshelves down. So obviously, we need books. It's a library. This should be enough, right? That's more than enough. Put a couple of computers in here. Wait, can I get two in there? I don't think I can, can I? Let's get them facing this way. Like that. Another one there. Get three of them. And then a couple of study desks. Don't eat homework. Plenty of places for them to study. Hand sanitizer and yes, of course, a plant. Hey, this is not a bad room. I've done pretty well. Is this a wall one? Oh, it is a wall. That's a big boy bookshelf. But there we go. Boom. Done. Bob's your uncle. Um, I now need to probably hire uh, somebody for the library, right? Uh, Davina Underdriver, Lucy Vape, or Lucille Puddle. You're probably going to pee yourself, aren't you? Toilet comfort disease is slower than most. Lucy Vape, excellent uh, personal hygiene. Gets hungry easily. Toilet comfort decreases slower than most. And then also moves faster than most. Let's get Davina Underdriver. Let's get, you can, let's get a Rapido. Work in there. You now work in the library. Perfect. Completing assignments is a great way for students to earn XP away from the classroom. Though it looks like they need some new facilities. Check your inbox to see what they need. I've already added that. Complete the assignment in the library. Uh, we've done it. Students are asked not to ask questions. So they are going to work on their homework now and work on assignments and stuff. They are, are indeed because we're already at 50%. So your students are completing the assignment. Thank you for letting me know the obvious okay so now we've got to wait until the next science class and hopefully they get a b they seem to be going in here now 
working on their next class. Oh, what the hell? They're making ice? They're making ice now. This guy loves playing Call of Duty Zombies. Bam, 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 Students bam. Are reminded is that a clown? There is a clown in class. Oh, he's the class clown, isn't it? Lol. Get it. He's the now he's... Don't drink them. Did he, did he drink that then? You're all done. Are you going to get a B? Sir Nigel you did. Laughing Perfect. At you, not with you on Two Point Radio. We can all do with an occasional chuckle. It keeps the blood fizzy and the vitals convivial. So I present to you this next piece of music that is sure to give us all a good long laugh. Your students have gone from a C grade chumps to B minus grade brainheads. Let's recap how you did, shall we? Is that it? We done? Campus Management 101. Educate and provide better staff and facilities to improve your student grades. Make students happy and comfortable to increase their learning rates and earn more cash by growing your campus and enrolling more students. We're sorry for the litter that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine. Oh, wow. Dropping her own litter and blaming the kids. Congratulations, you've earned some kudosh for completing objectives. Perfect. Spend kudosh to unlock new items, as well as staff outfits and interior design options. So what did we get? So I can unlock something now with kudosh with these Ks. Uh, how much kudosh have I got? Uh, 230. What do we buy? What should we buy? These are all pretty cheap, to be honest. I feel like we buy something pretty expensive. Let's buy a meat wizard machine. Basically a gaming machine. We're good if we can see what game they're playing. Let's just put, like four of them now oh my god they're on it we have oh my god we have gamers we have gamers dude it's three of them on it well two of them now uh average staff happiness uh having his first year eight 12 months employ five staff and also build a staff room so we need to build a staff room i just kind of put it like that that should be fine uh store door on there Students let's go out you came here on purpose let's put a light in here uh what else do you guys need you you want some food machines as well you can eat all these cheesy gubbins you can have a blurt machine uh you, maybe you want a dartboard you know get a plant get some hand sanitizer because you know dangerous world out there you can have a bin maybe you need a uh, oh some shelves <laughs> oh sorry wasn't some... that terrible ah oh, i needed that on the subject of laughing and indeed needing i see that many of our country's students are petitioning for additional reading materials frankly i find it very funny if you didn't already possess all of the course materials why would you start the course how bizarre what are you with this guy students on about are reminded to set reminders all right let's get another janitor as well i feel like we might need another janitor this is a lot of jobs because I believe they've got to clean the rooms as well. So let's get another janitor down and maybe hire another science uh, science uh, uh, teacher. Let's get this guy. Uh, complete two assignments. Boom. Finish your first year on campus. All right. Let's speed up time. Monthly profit is... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, where's monthly profit is negative. I'm just wondering if it takes into account the things we're purchasing. Wait, I've just bought this guy and he's already in the staff room. Do you mean? I've just re... I've just realized as well, I think the students actually share the bedrooms, the dorms. Oh my God, these guys want a lot of things. They want a student lounge. They want a study, cubicle, a sign, Dave Rainbow, personal discovery, it requires a library. We've got that. We've already got a thing, bench press. We want this because we want to tell the story and they want a bench press as well. But you guys don't want much, do you? Okay, let's build a, a study room. Uh, I don't know where I can build this. This needs to be a three by three room. I'm running out of room here. Can we attach this onto here? Like this. And just do a three by three room here. Add a door. You want like a little... What am I... Why do these get microwaves and the... And the, uh... The, the teachers don't? Huh? Alright, let's give them a fridge. Let's give them a counter. Let's give them a microwave. Let's pull that one out, actually. Let's rotate that one around. Put you there. Grab us. Wait. Oh, I was the wrong way, Bitsy. Put a sink in. Let's get another countertop. Put that there. And then... Some seats. 
What else do they need? Did they want a TV as well? Maybe I don't need these countertops here. Maybe I'll remove this one. I'm just... Oh, I don't, I'm don't. picking up the whole room. Oh, boy. Move the seats a little closer. They've got couches and everything. These guys are... It's luxury in here. Let's give them a dartboard as well, I guess. Okay, they can put that there. There we go. You can be happy with that. And accept. There you go. You got a student lounge. You happy? Hey, you good? Sir Nigel Reviews, I was faced with the formidable task of critiquing the inventory named Chewy Gum. Love yes, bench. I am tasked with assessing the various Work bench, merits and place. shortcomings of this interminable taffy. I like a jaunt and a jape as much as the next fellow, but I draw the line. Invalid at room for bench press. Where does this. it go? Chewy gum. We put it in thanks, the bathroom. But no thanks. Oh, outside. It doesn't matter how desperate you are. No there you urinating go. on campus facilities. What else do you want? You've already got a cubicle. A love bench. You want a love bench. Okay. Here's your love bench. Have it outside. How about you face another couple? And we place that there. There you go. Now you've got love benches. Right? Why is this not going up? Study cubicle required. You've already got one. Wait. I'm just wondering. This guy needs a cubicle. What about if I just sell this one? And then go into my assignments and then just build it again? Will that work? Let's see. We are did it, approaching did it the work? end of the academic year. Try not I don't to worry. Know. I think it did because it's gone from over his head. But it's about to be the end of the year. And and there we go it's I now the end of the year congratulations you finished the academic uh, ac academic year let's head to the end of year rewards to celebrate and see how we did yay year one let's have a look graduating zero continuing 10 average exam we go we didn't expel anyone we didn't fail anyone we didn't drop out anyone that sucks Nice. The summer break is the perfect time to prepare for the, the year ahead. Build facilities, make un, uh, unsustainable design choices, soon. and bask Was in last year's glory. Let's expand the range of courses by starting a virtual normality course. Manage course. Add new course. Virtual normality. So it's just basically a virtual experience. A new era of technology is here, and it's sure uh, to redefine the way you think about goggles. Students can experience being where they're not, like never before. Discover new worlds or practice trying your shoes, all in the comfort and privacy of the virtual realm. Average tuition fee is 7,500. Duration is three years. And it accepts all them people, I'm guessing. All right, start the course. Confirm it. And now we need a new lecture theater, a VR lab, and a virtual normality teacher. Okay, select the plot, purchase plot. Oh, we've got to purchase... Oh, cool. We're buildings. We are buying a new piece of land. That's kind of cool. Expand the building. Expand the campus. Expand the rooms, you know, because we are running out of space. But we do need to build a new uh, lecture theater over here. So, yeah. Soon we'll have another group of students joining the campus. It's important to expand with our ever-growing student body. Buy a new plot of land and set a new campus. Perfect. We've just done that. Nice. So the construction is still happening. Is it just adding random windows? Oh, there we go. And then inside of here, we just need to go bada bing. An and then we need a new lecture theater. Just got bigger. And let's Not just kind of... Better. Let's just put that there like this. Put our new lecture thing down here. And our big set of stairs there. And a doorway just there. Obviously, hand sanitizer next to the door trash can and wait why is that not going in the room there we go and then we always need a plant in the room bada bing bada bosh done dusted except second lecture theater now done and now we need to add a vr lab so i'm thinking we put that into this building we go into the build menu we then go to vr lab uh this needs to be a five by four so let's kind of go five by four five and what is that it's massive oh boy let's put that down 
We've also got some like computer desks. CV, oh my god. It didn't happen. Not Content me. creators incoming. Here we go. We've got some weird stuff as well. I'm just kind of going to put majority of this stuff in here, to be fair. Is that a chair? Cool ass door. Hand sanitizer. Bin. Plant. You can just go there. And done. Right? Done? Hey, can we add another chair, maybe? Uh, we can. Just there. Perfect. Boom. Now we've got a VR lab. Cool. Before starting a new year, be sure to check any unresolved campus requirements. Virtual now. Oh, we need a teacher. Yeah, don't we? We need a teacher. Teacher, Chloe Lauder, Montgomery Woodwind, or Sebastian Beige. University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. So we've got Sebastian. He drops literally a lot. Toilet comfort decreases faster than most. Moves slower than most. Then we've got Mon Montgomery Woodwind. Toilet comfort decreases. Moves slower than most. And then we've also got poor hygiene. Moves faster than most. Let's get Chloe Lauder. She's a stinker, but she moves fast. And there we go. Boom. New teacher, new room, new lecture, new building. And there we go, guys. That is Two Point Campus. And that is going to conclude this video. But if you want to see more, I'll be live streaming this right now. So check the link in the description and head over to my Twitch. Come give me a click. Give me a follow. And yes, I'll be playing this right over there. So come and let me know that you enjoyed this video. And as always, check out this other content right here. And uh, yeah. And as always, keep smiling. And I'll see you in another video.